Today I'm going to review Space 1999, the very first episode, Breakaway. The first episode of Space 1999 was called Breakaway and it came out in 1975. Space 1999 had two seasons between 1975 to 1976 which was 24 episodes and the second season was between 1976 to 1977 which was another 24 episodes. So that's 48 episodes overall. The episodes lasted between 48 to 52 minutes. The first episode, Breakaway, was directed by Lee H. Katzen and written by George Bellock, an uncredited rewrite by Christopher Penfold. Previous titles were Zero J, Void Ahead and Turning Point. There was also a novelisation in 1975 by A.C. Tubb. The show was produced by Jerry Anderson, who's famous for lots of other shows like Thunderbirds, Stingray, Captain Scarlet, UFO and Joe 90. Space 1999 stars Martin Lando as Commander John Koenig, Barbara Bain as Dr. Helena Russell, Barry Morse as Professor Victor Bergman. So the story is more of an introduction to the, the show. It like introduces all the characters, shows you around the space station. It uh, the plot itself's more about like a virus that's making people go insane. And during the last third of the story, there's a massive explosion, and it moves the moon like miles and miles away. Uh, it's impossible the science, but that's what happens. And like the moon's deserted. It's like on its own somewhere. That's where all the adventures begin. Eh? <coughs> 1999? That bug was bloody 23 years ago. <laughs> Who the bloody hell would think that would happen then? Yeah, but this Bones was made in 1975, so that they'll have thought this might happen then. So it's very far-fetched, but it's done deadly seriously. And the show lasted two seasons, and I, I do think the first season's really good. It's much better than the second season. The second season, they wanted it more kind of like action action-packed sort of stories but the first season's very moody uh, and I, I like that I like the eerie, eeriness about it and Jerry Anderson produced many shows but I think this is probably his best one this in UFO there was loads of problems during the making of this story there was many problems during the making of Breakaway the first episode it overran by 10 days and cost tens of thousands of pounds over budget. When Katzen finished editing his footage and screened the completed episode to Jerry Anderson, it ran for over two hours and he thought it was bloody awful. He went back to America and sent a copy of the episode to Abe Mandel and he phoned back in a fit of desperation, saying, Oh my God, it's terrible. What are we going to do? Eventually, he managed to edit it down to 50 minutes. Eh? Two bloody hours? Bloody 52 minutes was bad enough. Are we watching it now? The effects do look like dated and everything. For 1975, this was pretty groundbreaking for TV. And the effects do look quite good, I think. I love the models. I love the spaceships. So, like, the interior sets are really good. The, the moon base has a very... 2001 A Space Odyssey failed to it. Martin Lando was brilliant as the commander. You can see he's stressed out uh, coming onto the base, wondering what the hell's going on, why these people are going insane. Barry Morse is also good as the professor, Victor. However, Barbara Bain is Helena Russell. She's um, wooden as hell in this one anyway. There's like no expression in her face. Eagle 1-4 from Area 2 Monitor. <laughs> hey, I've seen more bloody expression on the bloody face of a China doll. I've got more bloody expression in my bloody face and I'm fucking plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly enough, the, the, uh, them two, when they're in the scenes together, they do a lot of whispering. They're always whispering to each other. Although that does create a lot of tension. Hey, I like bloody whispering. I can't hear the bloody buggers. And you're saying medically the risk is unacceptable? The risk is great. The decision, of course, is yours. 
Eh? What did she say? I don't know, Bones. I couldn't hear her. <laughs> so this is a good introduction to the show. It's not one of the best, though. The story is a bit too slow moving. However, it, it, it does get high points because it is done seriously. It's like a, a more more adult type of sci-fi show that you would normally get during this time. It's almost like a, a British version of Star Trek. And it I love the title sequence as well. It, it really gets you into the mood. Uh, lots of action sequences. So it is a good show. Just uh, this first episode had problems during the making of it. And it does show. But overall, I do like Space 1999. It is a good show with lots of potential. And some of the stories later on are good. And there's some really creepy ones as well. But overall, I'll base it on this one episode, and it wasn't really um, as good as I thought it would be. So out of ten, I'll give it seven. Seven out of ten. Do you think you to do like this? Yeah, I thought it was a load of old bloody bollocks. That bloody Doctor Who back on. Okay, everybody. Bye. So let's go and subscribe and share.